My favourite Billabong Pipe Masters memory would have to just be watching Julian when he won the Triple Crown and when he was on the beach waiting for the scores and just kind of like collapsed just because kind of like hometown kind of friend, something like that. And yeah, it was just really cool to see him kind of achieve one of the biggest things you can achieve in surfing. One would have for sure be when Andy did that crazy comeback with Kelly. When he was comboed in the final and came back and ended up winning, that was like, to me, like the best thing ever. Like, I, that was like the first time I seen someone do that. Like, and I was so young and seeing someone like I looked up to so much, just like come back and win a contest like that was like the sickest thing ever. I think it was Timmy Reyes versus Kelly Slater in the semis. And Timmy started off with bang, like dropped some hammers. Oh, uh, I think Kelly was comboed until like three minutes and then Kelly dropped a hammer. I think it was like a 9.8 or something. Paddle back out with like one minute left and got a 10. I was pretty rattled. I think I was like 14. I remember John John getting a double barrel on a pipe wave. Just pulled in high. I was in it for like two seconds and then dropped out and he came out and then stalled again and then stood up and the thing just blew him out and then he got a 10. So I just remember that really vivid. So. It was the first year I ever got put in um, to the actual main event. I think I was 18 or 19 years old. Billabong gave me a wild card. And it was just battle against the, the ocean. Me and Tanner Godowskis were basically just floundering around out the back just trying not to die and had a really bad wipeout. And that's basically my story. I had a really bad wipeout of pipe. Well, it'd have to be the year I won it. Um, back in um, 1985, uh, it was really big. Um, you know, it was a huge day. It started off. Um, well, not small, it was big, but then it just got bigger and bigger. So, but it was epic, because it was six-man heats, and um, had the likes of like Michael Ho, and Rabbit Bartholomew, and Max Medeiros, and Mickey Nielsen, and, and they all paddled way out. They had like a hassle thing, and they paddled way, way out onto the second reef, and even further out, and um, a huge set break on third reef, and cleaned them all up, put them to the beach, and I was the only one left in the water <laughs> for a little while. And I got a couple of scores and uh, ended up winning and, uh, and it was huge, it was like 15 feet, I was freaking out. But, um, but just kind of dodging out, coming in for the in-between ones, getting out of the sets, kind of played it smart. And, um, and then I, I rode up the beach with no scores, not knowing I'd won, but I had a good feeling. And right when I stepped off my board onto the beach to the Hooter Blue, and when that happened I was like, well, this is a sign, I think I've done really well. And um, yeah, so that's my most fondest memory of the Pipeline Masters. Thank you.